Hello guys, Matthew Moss right here and welcome to my Microsoft HoloLens Overview. Now, because there's lots of stuff to talk about, I'm just going to jump right in, so here we go. So you may be asking, what is HoloLens? HoloLens is a headset computer that you wear that projects images around your environments. This is done with Microsoft Windows Holographic, a specialised version of Windows 10, which has a gesture optimized interface, so like this for click for instance which looks very similar to the home screen in my opinion you know it looks very similar to the Windows 8 home screen Microsoft claims that it has HD lenses which which is most likely going to be 720p anything higher like 1080p is subject to optimism now before I continue I would like to point out this is more of augmented reality than actual holograms, but it's still a step in the right direction. Other companies had a stab at this in the past, like Nintendo and Google, but the problem was that some needed cards before you could see something, i.e. Nintendo 3DS. They had lag once you move your head, because you would notice noticeable stutter when you move your head even slightly, because of the most... The the insufficient processing power for the tracking I would be my primary guess. Or finally, they were just too expensive and not many people adopted it like Google Glass. Now let's get into the specs. This will have three processing units, the CPU, the GPU and a custom chip called the Holographic Processing Unit or HPU for short. If I had to take a shot in the dark then I would say the CPU will most likely be an ARM V8 processor clocked at 3 gigahertz, just due to ARM's amazing power consumption properties or if it was a CISC processor then I guess it would be a broad fail based Intel Atom chip at 2 gigahertz for, for its similar power consumption. Its GPU will most likely be a power VR chip only because it seems extremely unlikely that Nvidia or ATI can produce graphics chips that can be consume very little power, but can perform very well. So the, pro so the current processors like the 970M, 960M, 850M, etc, etc, they have a lot better consuming, you know, they have a much better performance per watt ratio, but still probably nowhere near what Microsoft hopes to achieve with these power, you know, with these hollow lens. Not much is known about the HPU, except it was designed to handle the terabytes of information that would be gathered all the time. So in theory, it should remove any lag in tracking where things will be on the display. The cameras is on the front of the device which will detect whatever gestures you are doing and also will be used as a port, you know, like also will be used to track where it will be on the display. So if you move your head slightly, you shouldn't notice any stutter. I also suspect the storage will be somewhere between 32 or 64 gigabytes. Microsoft claims that this device will be completely cordless, so that means no phones, no computers, and no wires are required to operate this device. Because of this, I think it would be logical to assume that it will have wireless charging capabilities. You know, you put it on like a special pad and you just leave it to charge, then that will eliminate the need for a cord. If it is completely cordless, that is, I'm just assuming that. Now Microsoft HoloLens is very similar to Sun's Starfire project back in 1996. It's true it wasn't an all-in-one holographic computer, but it still says some key features that were shown in Sun's demonstrational video, such as voice control, the ability to manipulate objects in the virtual world and the real world, and finally revolution how people would uh, communicate to each other. Now it comes down to the price. I suspect Microsoft will price this really aggressively, being somewhere between 300 and 600 pounds. Either way, I would like to get my hands on this thing to review. The possibilities are almost endless how this technology can be utilised in the creative space. Even though most of it will be at first, first party, it looks like Autodesk is already working on integration of Windows Holographic in their next release of their AutoCAD software, although no promises on that. Anyway guys, that's my overview of Microsoft HoloLens. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.